Hey, my friends. We're back for round two on the old wiring. Oh, hey. Yeah, we're just, uh, I just finished watching the news. More of that corona virus. Wow. It's getting wicky. I don't even know if I want to go to work anymore. But, uh, yeah, we're back here in the garage. I, uh, I had to do it, boys. I downloaded the manual, or not the manual, the wiring diagram. But even then, it doesn't uh, give you very much for what I'm looking for. But regardless, we're making progress. Let me show you what we got going on. Okay, I ripped out pretty much everything now. Okay. Batteries out of there. All the wiring. Got everything broken down in that system, into that system. Ignition system. And here's why it's very important to build everything before you paint and hack and weld and shit. This guy here. Hey, this guy. I've been racking my head wondering what the heck that's for. Came with the pipes. There, no way you'll see that. Chink. You won't be able to get your fucking bag down, so you gotta mount this down here so it doesn't go all the way up. Yeah, it's kind of gay. So we're gonna have to figure something out for that. And then put the chain guard on just so that if there's any other fitament issues, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to figure out where I want everything under here. It looks like a lot of space, but there's not much. So I'm thinking the rectifier is going to go here, or regulator, or whatever it is. Let's see. What is it? Uh, oh, it's upside down. Oh, no. Regulator. Rectifier. Sorry. Rectifier. So, yeah. We're just messing with that. Uh, got the battery tray here. Trying to figure out where I'm gonna locate that in there somehow. You get the idea. Okay. Come on. Okay, I'm struggling to garage, eh? Why do anything right? There's a little something like that. It'll be in there as high as we could possibly get it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we'll be able to cover that up or get a black battery, I guess. Okay, let me bring you up to the bench, show you what we got there. Oh yeah, we made a little bit. I worked on it a bit this morning. Starting to get her down. I'm going to work on this end now. This is actually a little bit more straightforward than I thought it was going to be couple spots like once again check your wiring right spliced in See, I just don't understand why you wouldn't have just looped it over and then one wire I don't know but we're gonna find out that's for sure I got uh, that guy like I said it's not gonna be much help but you never know okay let me make a little bit of progress here and I think once I get it, I'm going to get it to the point where these are the only two up front needed to start the bike, I believe. This is left and right turn signals, or uh, you got headlight, and what was the other one? Head, no, no, left, left and right turn signals, I believe it was. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, listening listening to a struggling goof is going to help you out, eh? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It looks like a mess, but it really... It's not too, too bad, to be honest. We'll get this system broken down next. And, uh, yeah, I'll bring you back and show you what we got going on. And still got to figure out... I thought this was just uh, a spare circuit, but it's not. So, I don't know. I'll bring you back when I know more. Well, I figured I'd bring you back in to show you what kind of mess I got going on here. 
We say struggling goof. <laughs> wow. But you know what? Not as bad as you'd think. Uh, got all basic systems hooked up. And that's a good thing to do because now I know what's like accessories for lights, etc. But yeah, we got the key switch hooked up. Uh, ignition, yes. Kill, yes. And we got the good spark. See if you can see that. So yeah, she will run with the wiring that's on there. You wouldn't want to get wrapped in your leg, probably. Break sakes. Yeah, but uh, it's a good thing to know. So I might run the one set of wire loom down the one side. And uh, I think it's going to get split up into two more looms. So three in total down. Okay, I'll get you back in here when uh, I get a little more progress. I do want to kind of button this up tonight, just so I know where I'm at, right? Don't want to leave this kind of crap laying around for too, too long. Oh, you see that? Oh, there I would. Okay, let me bring you back in. Oh, I think I'd bring you back in, show you some of the progress here. Man, I don't know. The grounds, it's just like, holy. Hey, but we got our neutral light and shit. I can't get the high beam working. Only because I think uh, I blew a fuse. It was the wrong size anyway, like the whole nine yards. Yeah, so I don't know. And my headlight is tied to this, I think, as well. I've swapped them around and shit. I can get the bike to turn over. Yeah. I don't know. This is uh, turned out to be quite the mission. I've got about freaking six hours into her now, probably. But hey, it's uh, coming along. Now I'm no, going to know where everything is and what have you. It's hard to get her down the systems because they share so many things, but I'll get her. It's going to be a little... A little bit more work than I anticipated. Yeah, this freaking coronavirus. Holy cow. Being here in isolation, I'm guessing, you know, like social distancing, I guess it's called. Holy cow. It's tough on the brain. I do this to relax. Therapy. Wow. All I can do is think. Anyway. Okay. Give me a few there and I think I'm going to wrap this up. All right. This is what we got. Uh, this is where I'm going to end her off tonight, I think. It's like 7.30 or something like that. I haven't made any supper yet or nothing. Uh, yeah, I got everything hooked up. Let me get everything run through the headlight again. You know, as good of a junction as it is, it is kind of, I don't know, packed in there. But hey, it works, right? Works well. Mm -hmm. Get that on there now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So everything is is right there. So I think tomorrow after work, if it's uh, not a zombie apocalypse with the COVID nineteen, um, I'll grab some loom and some nice uh, butt connectors. I want to get good connectors for this. Maybe some cannon plugs or something. Aircraft grade, right? That look pretty decent. But I want to loom all that up. A little better. Obviously, it's just uh, it's just in the works. It's nothing uh, for sure yet. Oh, I just noticed I got a little crack in there. Got the little tickety tack that. Which means it'll have to be painted. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think maybe if I get some motivation tonight, I'll just peel off the back tire, put that uh, chain guard on, 
because I got to get that peg done. So quit talking to me about foot pegs. Why are foot pegs such an issue with this bike? This one looks good. Really decent, actually. But yeah, so tomorrow I'll get some loom, some good butt connectors. And we'll start uh, doing some re-splicing. Like I said, I can start and run the bike, no problem. Uh, got all the back lights all figured out where they go. So, yeah, it looks worse than it really is. But okay, with that note, uh, I'm going to let you guys uh, get to doing what you're doing instead of watching a struggling goof. And, uh, yeah, stay safe in these uh, troubled times, people. Keep that uh, social distancing going and, uh, you know, if you're sick, stay home. I don't want to get sick if I go to work, which I have to, unfortunately. But, okay, like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, you know, hit that notification bell because it, it really does help out, guys. Thumbs up. Okay, take care. Struggling Goof Garage, Scott just Scott.